The Society for Neuropathic Pain, uh, this is for chronic pain. You see that they suggest uh, gabapentin, tricyclic antidepressants, which has a half-life of 36 hours, by the way. So you never really get rid of the drug. You just keep on accumulating it. Half-life means it takes 36 hours to get rid of half of the drug. I don't know if you noticed, but there's 24 hours in a day. So the dosage in your body just keeps on growing. Uh, so uh, SNRIs, those are antidepressants. So they suggest gabapentin, tricyclics, or uh, antidepressants, tramadol, opioids, and then next, cannabinoids. Most likely in the future, cannabinoids are going to go up above uh, opioids or tramadol for pain control. Cannabinoids are effective for reducing neuropathic pain. This is for ne neuropathic, like uh, pins and needles, uh, um, either drug-induced, chemotherapy-induced, or uh, you know, if you have like pins and needles all day long. So tricyclic uh, antidepressant opioids, and these are the number needed to treat cannabinoids, 3.4. So 3.4 people need to be treated with medical cannabis in order to have one person relieved of their neuropathic pain, number needed to treat. You saw that the uh, Society for Chronic Pain suggested gabapentin first. Six people need to be treated with gabapentin so that one person will benefit. The reason that cannabis is not higher up is just because we don't have a history with it. We're just starting to it just legalize. Doctors have been able to prescribe it for such a short time. We don't have a lot of history. But you see that just by looking at the um, number needed to treat, the SSRIs and the gabapentin are actually much more difficult to treat. Seven people need to take it so that one person will benefit. Cannabinoids, 3.4 people need to take it so that one person will benefit.